Welcome to the December 2014 edition of Alexander County Now. In this episode, we'll speak with Leanne Wisnett, Director of the Alexander County Health Department. The urgent care of Mountain View in Taylorsville is in our business spotlight. And you'll learn more about the Hidden Night Center's Christmas reel-to-reel -reel theme at the Lucas Mansion. All this and more in this episode of Alexander County Now. On Thursday, December 4th, the Hidden Night Center will host their annual Christmas at the Lucas Mansion Friends Open House. Hidden Night Center members, which are known as Friends of the Hidden Night Center, will gather from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. for a special evening that includes guided tours of the center's museum and holiday decorations, festive live music, heavy hors d'oeuvres, and community fellowship. Admission to the Christmas at the Lucas Mansion Friends Open House, which includes a one-year Hidden Night Center membership, is affordably priced at only $25 for an individual or $40 for a family. To prepay for membership and admission, call 828-632-6966. Guests are also welcome to pay at the door on the evening of the open house. Each year during the holiday season, the Hidden Night Center's Lucas Mansion is transformed into a wonderland of decorations that highlight a unique theme. This year's theme, Christmas Reel to Reel, takes guests on a journey through their favorite Christmas films. On the evening of the Friends Open House, guests will enter through the foyer of the historic Lucas Mansion Museum, which will be lavishly decorated to mimic movie theater lobbies of the golden age of cinema. The historic Lucas Mansion is a three-story Victorian home which features a museum of rooms restored to reflect family life of the early 20th century. Each room of the Lucas Mansion Museum will be decorated to interpret a scene from classic holiday movies such as It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street, and White Christmas. The Lucas Mansion's second floor gallery will open its doors to visitors for a festive holiday-inspired exhibition. Holiday movie magic will continue amid the Lucas Mansion's third floor antique doll and toy collections, which will feature elaborate decorations that bring classic children's Christmas movies such as A Charlie Brown Christmas, Home Alone, and Frosty the Snowman to life. At the end of the evening, each guest will receive a Friends of the Hidden Night Center take-home gift as a special thank you for supporting the arts this season. The Lucas Mansion Gift Shop will offer holiday shopping for handcrafted, unique, and one-of-a-kind artistic gifts. Gift shop sales will benefit local artists, crafters, and the Hidden Night Center. Following the Friends Open House, the Hidden Night Center's Christmas reel-to-reel -reel decorations and exhibits will be open to the public beginning Friday, December 5th. The Lucas Mansion's regular hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. and Saturday from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. The Hidden Night Center's Lucas Mansion will be closed in observance of the holidays December 24th through the 28th and January 1st. To learn more about Hidden Night Center events and programs, visit www.hiddennightcenter.com. You can email to info at hiddennightcenter.com or search for Friends of the Hidden Night Center on Facebook. This month's People's segment features Leanne Wisnett, Director of the Health Department. Let's get to know Leanne more as a person, and we'll also learn more about her career with the Health Department. I'm Leanne Wisnett. I'm the Director here at the Health Department. I've been here almost 26 years. I was born and raised in Caldwell County, but don't hold that against me. I feel like I'm an Alexander Countyan. Um, I, my husband is Roger. We've been married uh, longer than I can remember. Uh, and we have two great children. Um, my son is 18 years old and my daughter's 12. Yes, two teenagers. Our house is um, hormonal at best. I began my career here after completing an associate degree in nursing from Caldwell Community College. Um, did a, about a year in the hospital and then uh, came to public health and realized that I love public health and this is where I was going to stay. Um, after probably four or five years, I realized I wanted to go back to school and get a bachelor's in nursing. I did that through the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. It was a great um, satellite program. I just went to Hickory on Fridays um, for a long time. Took about three years, but was well worth it. I was able to work full time. And when you have children and working full time, it was a great way to do that. Finished a bachelor's in nursing. And after five, six years here, moved up to the director of nursing position. It was a great opportunity uh, for me to expand my career and learn more. I was able to get more into clinic programming, um, budgeting, state contracts. Started after that writing a few grants. 
Um, this is a great community to um, grow and learn and, and have great opportunities. So was fairly successful on some small grants, um, Kate B. Reynolds things, some um, March of Dimes grants. Um, then seems like we were training ground. I had worked under a lot of health directors. Uh, we're small and so they would come, get trained, be really good at what they did and would go to a bigger county. Um, after I was interim health director a few times, I realized why not go back to school again because the health director's job requires a master's in public health. Um, so I actually did a distance learning program with California College of Health Science um, and received a master's in public health and health education and um, moved into the health director's role um, about 15 years ago and I've been doing that ever since. Then you are over um, 40 employees and 14 programs. So again, you get to do all kinds of interesting things. I come in in the morning and have a plan of what my day is going to be like and the phone rings and it changes. So there's not two days alike. Um, if you can't tell, I love what I do. It's exciting. It's challenging. It is never boring. I love the people of Alexander County. Um, they are uh, open and warm and supportive. Um, I, and I hope people understand what the health department does. The many, many people think we're here for immunizations and we are. If I say, what does the health department do? You think shots. And we do do shots. Right now it's flu season, so we're certainly doing a lot of flu vaccines, but um, we do a lot of other programs too. Um, and the community is very supportive. Um, they come out. We've been seeing a lot of folks come in during, um, during the election while they're voting just next door. They come on over and, and visit us. If people haven't come into the health department, I invite them to come call. We get a lot of phone calls. We have a lot of students that come needing support. Um, high school students wanting to do health occupations things here, wanting to do their senior projects. Uh, it's a great time for us to to spend time with them and let them know what we do and um, come in and spend a little time and we provide them lots of materials. A lot of times they're needing statistics. We're kind of known for having a, a cache of statistics on hand and we do. Uh, right now we're also doing our community health assessment. That's a four year, pro that's a process we do every four years feels like a four-year process, but um, those years in between, we do a smaller version of it. But that community health assessment is a time that we reach out to the community and the people and ask them what they see as needs. You know, what are the things we could improve on? Access to health care is always top of the list. Transportation, you know, what are the things um, you're having trouble accessing or getting? You know, what, what could we do better as a community? So. Um, and there's a lot of the community involved in that process. So um, the community is great too. We're supportive, even agencies. Um, in other communities, I hear from other health directors and communities that they don't have the support. You know, they have trouble getting people to come to meetings and help them with projects. And, you know, when they want to do a health fair or something, they have trouble getting people to participate. That's not the case in Alexander County. Uh, we support each other. Um, we're not territorial, so it's a um, great community to work, live, and raise a family in. If I say, have you used a public health service today? I used to, I like to do education, and many times I'll go out in the community and do programs in high school, and that's kind of my trick question. Have you used a public health service today? And people go, no, you know, I don't think I have. And, so it's great when I can tell them, yes, you have. You know, um, when you go in a restaurant, you don't really worry. And some people look to see what the grade is at the restaurant. Many don't because they're not worried because we're here um, inspecting and making sure that food is safe. So if you've eaten out in the last week or today, you know, public health has been there keeping it safe. Um, if you have a septic tank and you, um, Flush today, you've used a public health service. If you've went to Walmart, if you've been out in the community shopping, school, work, and you didn't worry about um, getting a communicable disease, that's because public health is there 
to make sure you don't. So we're kind of those um, silent behind the scenes um, program that's there keeping the community healthy and safe and you don't even realize we're there until you hear Ebola or you hear HIV or hepatitis or uh, Christmas is coming and sometimes you hear hepatitis A at food outbreaks. That's We are here every day doing those silent works. Our job is prevention. Your health department actually has 14 programs that um, many people only know our vaccine clinic. And yes, we do lots of vaccines, but we also have um, a women's health program just for your yearly physical and checkup. We have family planning programs for people so they can plan when they wanna have their, their children and not have children um, unexpectedly or before they're ready. We also have child health clinic. We have home health, which many of you have heard a lot about home health because we are struggling right now. We have lots of competitors lots of big national companies that are for profit and we're the only local county home health agency and we can do everything that the privates can and we usually do it better. Our outcomes are excellent. Um, you're not getting less quality, you're getting hometown local. Um, our people live here and they care about their own community. We can also see the indigent with that program. Sometimes folks don't have insurance and um, have difficulty paying for those services. So we're a huge asset for that population too. We also have, um, I'm sure I'm leaving out lots of programs. Environmental health is one of those that does um, septic tanks and the food program. Um, when we have you know, like the Apple Festival, we have to inspect the food vendors to make sure, you know, you don't take home something else you want, like, you know, food poisoning. So um, we also have a dental clinic that is fairly new. When I first came here, dental services, we kept seeing our children were not able to access pediatric dentistry. Um, one in four children had dental decay. They went to kindergarten needing major dental work. And I can't imagine anything worse than trying to sit in school and learn and you're a tooth hurting severely. So that, we could not change that. You know, we worked for 15, 20 years trying to increase the number of dentists, trying to increase services. And when we couldn't ensure that the service was here, we actually started looking for grants. And so we wrote a grant. It was a huge committee and team. The whole community came together. We wrote a grant and actually got it funded to start a dental clinic for children here. It's in its sixth year and we've done wonderfully. It does not cost taxpayers anything. It's self-supportive, but we can still see those children that don't have payer sources, Medicaid children. Um, we see um, low income. We see middle class children. We see more now with insurance because of the new Affordability Health Care Act. We're seeing more children with insurance but still um, not great access for pediatrics. There's some of our local dentists will see older children, especially teenagers, but nobody really wants those little small people that tend to be um, more challenging. They're a little more afraid, so you have to spend a lot more time with them and go a little slower and have different equipment even. I've learned a lot about dentistry. I may be a nurse by background, but I can almost talk the dental game. Um, We've been very blessed with some great dentists. And so um, we've seen our dental decay rates drop from one in four children starting kindergarten with dental decay to only one in 10. And we hope to get to none before we're done. So um, we also do some case management programs to try to make sure women get prenatal care early and have the healthiest baby that's possible. And we also do some case management for children um, we have lab services. We do um, lots of um, lab services for the community as well as um, our clinic clients. And I'm sure I'm forgetting some clinics um, because we do have 14 different programs, but um, those are um, the ones that come to mind first. Alexandria County is a wonderful place to live, work, and play. Thanks for everything you do for our community, Leanne. And thanks for informing us of the many ways the health department ensures the safety of our citizens. Great job.
I'm Gary Herman with the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation. We're working on our Buy Local campaign to encourage our citizens and our visitors to support our local businesses and our local economy. This is the Alexander County Business Spotlight. We're here at Urgent Care of Mountain View in Taylorsville. They're located at 60 Second Avenue Southwest in Taylorsville. It's my honor to be speaking with the owner, who is Brian Bechtel. And uh, Brian, we're just so happy that you've opened uh, such a much-needed facility here in Taylorsville in Alexander County. So thank you for that. Uh, you've got a beautiful place here. I mean, uh, I know it's the former location, I guess, years ago where Dr. Merrill and some other physicians operated out of. But uh, you and the town and a lot of folks have done a lot of hard work here. You've got a beautiful building. Uh, tell us, uh, like, when you got your start here and uh, what all you had to do to get this building ready to go. Well, first of all, I can't take really much of the credit. Uh, David Odom, he was uh, really responsible. Uh, he and, and some of the... Uh, the councilman um, reached out to me uh, back when I first opened the Mountain View office uh, three years ago, and uh, we uh, we had a, a conversation, and it was just a little early for me to to try to start another venture, but I did recognize the need, and as soon as I was able to financially um, kind of start this endeavor, uh, we had another conversation, and and, and we partnered, and, and I couldn't have done this without the, the town, and, and I appreciate your support and, and the, the town's support and the, the councilman's support. Um, couldn't have done it without without the town, so so every, everybody give yourselves a, a hand for this, because it's, it's, a, it's a community effort. Well, it is a community effort, and uh, we do thank the town and, uh, and the county and everybody who did a great job in securing getting this business here but i mean without you it's not going to happen because you're the owner and uh you know you, you you got this business here and uh it was something that we really needed something a lot of people around here really wanted and so folks you need to come out here and support the urgent care of mountain view in taylorsville uh you got a really nice facility uh i don't know how many you tell us about the like, how many treatment rooms and i know you have x-ray and all that stuff so tell us more about the building and uh what you offer here at urgent care of mountain view in taylorsville we have five treatment rooms, and you're right. We have a, a, a completely digital X-ray. <clears throat> we um, we have lab. We, um, we do a lot of in-house uh, CLIA waved labs, and then we send off uh, any any further blood work. But we do everything from kind of family medicine stuff to to bridge the gap if they don't have a family doctor on weekends or evenings when the family doctor is not open to uh, kind of emergency type stuff, minor emergency, obviously. Uh, heart attacks, strokes, anything that, that may get you admitted to the hospital probably isn't the best facility to go to. Um, you really need to go to your hospital then, uh, where they, where they just have more ancillary services. But, um, but we're kind of a standalone, um, minor emergency, um, place that, um, we, we're, we're really pretty well equipped to handle almost anything. Yeah. So if you've got the flu or you need a flu shot, or if, uh, you think you might have broken a bone or something you can do all that stuff in-house we uh we do minor surgical procedures we um uh we can do pretty pretty um significant lacerations um abscesses um you know splinting broken bones um you know any any kind of uh medical illness that again isn't isn't going to be so complicated that it needs inpatient treatment um we're we're equipped for well that's great i mean alexander county and taylorsville has needed this for a long time so we do thank you for that you guys deserve it um, so you guys do need it and and uh and and every community really needs a, a good a good place to go for for medical care and, and then hopefully from from there uh you know once you have those basic services covered then then you can get into more industry and and uh you know more jobs more people may may want to come here and and uh and so i, th I think it's a, a good first step to to really getting the, the town back on its on its feet and into its former glory there you go i like the sound of that of course we've got some great doctors around here in the area in our county but this is something if you don't have a family doctor or if you just you know you you're in a hurry or what because you get them in and out pretty fast here because it's we urgent care right yeah we, we definitely <laughs> definitely try um and yeah we do have uh, very good 
uh, physicians in this area and, and some good specialists as well. We have orthopedics and, and I, I believe, uh, cardiology comes out here. So, so there are, there are some good support services and, and we're definitely not trying to, to steal patients from, from any, uh, other physician offices. We're just here to, to really augment them and, and help them take care of, pa- of patients. Mm-hmm. And, uh, one of the convenience, uh, items you know visiting your practice here is you've got people's drugstore right next door so you know uh, not putting in a plug for them but i am at the same time uh you know right next door you can get your prescriptions filled if if one is required yeah we we really work well as a team and and we help each other and support each other and um yeah they're great they've expanded their hours to to match ours um and yeah I, i couldn't we couldn't have a better neighbor yeah, it's it's perfect. Go to people's drug. <laughs> Go to people's drug. That's right. Um, now, how many employees do you have here, Brian? Uh, here we have seven, eight, eight employees here. Okay, so and are most of those people from around here, or we've got a they're sort of intermixed. Um, as as far out as Hickory, um, we've got a couple from Conover and a and a couple from Taylorsville as well. Okay. Well, you're making an impact on the economy. And uh, now just a brief moment. Tell us a little bit about yourself, just so the public can kind of get an, a feel for who Brian Bechtel is. Well, I'm a, a physician assistant, um, graduated in 2002, um, been really practicing emergency medicine ever since until I opened up my own facility in, um, 2011 in Mountain View. Um, and then just a couple of months ago, started this venture, but uh, I also do wound care at Catawba Valley Medical Center, um, wound care center. And uh, before that, I was uh, in the military as an intelligence specialist for about seven years. Okay. Well, sound like you're uh, well equipped to handle the uh, needs of our patients here in Alexander County. Uh, Now, do you accept most major insurances? And I think you accept Medicare, Medicaid? We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and um, to my knowledge, all major um, all major insurance companies. And we also do self pay. Okay. So you'll work with folks if they don't have insurance. And then if you have insurance, you, you'll just do your copay. So, all right. And I'm sure you accept, uh, credit cards, debit cards, cash check and all that chickens and pigs as well. Uh, don't say that. Cause you'll have, you'll have some people bringing some, <laughs> uh, that's okay. Hey, you might get more than what you want. Um, but also we wanted you to, uh, maybe put in a plug for Alexander County home health. Uh, if you're familiar with the home health agency, there's a lot of different providers out there and we have one here in Alexander County that is done through our health department. So if people need, uh, health care at home, um, we'd appreciate if you could give a plug for them. Oh, yeah, de- definitely. I think that's a great service, and, and we actually have referred patients from here to home health, okay. and, and, uh, and, and we do. We can give referrals to different specialists. We can give referrals to home health, physical therapy, and, and we really try to put people where they need to go um, for, for continued care because we're, we're really not a long-term care um, facility. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we, we'll, we'll treat your illness. We'll get you started and bridge the gap. Um, but yeah, please, please, uh, support Alexander County's, um, healthcare facilities, um, and, and providers. They, they do a great job and, and, um, and really they're, they're all service oriented, um, people. Every, everybody I've met is, they're just good folks. We do have good folks here in Alexander County. And, uh, like I said, once again, we're just so appreciative of you, um, uh, having faith in our community and investing in our community. Uh, it's a, a really good thing. And I know a lot of people are really happy and I see a lot of posts on Facebook, just use the new urgent care in Taylorsville. And it was wonderful. So thankful to have it here. And, uh, and I am as well. And I've used it personally myself with, I think you were open maybe two or three days and I had to bring my son. So, and uh, you saw him. So, uh, and he's better. So thank you for that. Uh, tell the folks how they can get in contact with you. What are your hours, your phone number? And if you have a website or a Facebook page, we're open seven days a week, um, Monday through Saturday, nine to nine, and then Sunday, 10 to six holiday hours. Um, we close at five o'clock and um, the only day that we're closed is Christmas. Although while we're getting fully staffed, there, there have been a, a couple of glitches where we had to close early and probably for the next couple of months, we still may have that occur now and then until we can get up and fully staffed with, with providers. Okay. And your phone number and website. Uh, website is urgentcareofmountainview.com. All one word, um, big, long word. Um, and, uh, 
our number here is 828-270-3604. Say that one more time with the phone number. 828-270-3604. That's 828-270-3604. You got it memorized. All right, folks. Well, you need to come out here, see Brian, see their staff. Uh, they got some real nice folks out here who are very knowledgeable in the medic, uh, medical field, and uh, they'll take care of you and your family. If you don't have a family doctor, come see them. Or if it's after hours, come out here and visit Urgent Care of Mountain View. Once again, they are located at 62nd Avenue Southwest in Taylorsville. Uh, behind a convenience store and right across the street from people's drugs. So uh, we just encourage everybody to come out here and support them and buy local Alexander County. To learn more about our buy local Alexander County campaign, visit the Alexander County EDC website, alexanderedc.org, or give me a call, 828-632-1378. Buy local Alexander County. The big event in December is the 68th annual Alexander County Christmas Parade set for Saturday, December 6th at 3 o'clock in downtown Taylorsville. This year's big event will feature lots of floats, classic cars, high school bands, tractors, and much more. The parade will begin on Lyledown Road, turn right onto Main Avenue, continue through town, and turn right on Main Avenue Drive. Arrive early and get your spot, and make sure the kids bring a bag for the candy that will be thrown out. And also be on the lookout for Santa Claus. For more information, call 828-632-4451. That same evening on December 6th, the public is invited to the annual Bethlehem Star Lighting at 7 p.m. at Mount Pisgah Lutheran Church in Bethlehem. The event, which is hosted by the Bethlehem Community Development Association, will include a living manger scene, scripture readings by Mount Bethel United Methodist Church, bonfires, and special live music by High Road Quartet. Free cookies, hot chocolate, and hot apple cider will be served by Bethlehem Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And jolly old St. Nick will be there. Mount Pisgah Lutheran Church is located at 9379 NC Highway 127 in Bethlehem. For more information, contact Connie Killian, 828-495-7775, or Ken Wasman at 828-495-2660. The Hidnight Center is pleased to welcome the Carolina-style chorus of Sweet Adelines International for a special holiday-themed dinner theater performance on Thursday, December 11th at the Educational Complex. Guests will enjoy a delicious holiday buffet dinner starting at 7 o'clock that evening, followed by the musical performance at approximately 8 p.m. for only $16 per person. Reservations are required and may be made by calling 828-632-6966. The public is invited to the Christmas in Bethlehem drive through at Fellowship Advent Christian Church in Bethlehem on December the 12th, 13th, and 14th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Admission is free. The church is located at 833 Eichard Ridge Road in Bethlehem. For more information, call 828-495-8086. To keep up to date with what's happening in Alexander County, be sure to log on to visitalexandernc.com. There you'll find a lot of information about the county's many great attractions, as well as a complete calendar of events. And you can even submit your own event. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Alexander County Now. Merry Christmas, folks. <music>